HPLC is an analytical chemistry technique used to separate, identify, and quantify the components in liquid mixtures. Dedicated methods are required to achieve adequate separation for different sample or analyte types. Method development can be used for creating entirely new methods or for updating existing methods to improve separation quality, speed, or analyte scope. Because many factors impact the quality of HPLC analyses, the creation of fit-for-purpose methods requires a systematic approach. This process is called method development. Here's how to get started. First, ensure a suitable method doesn't already exist. The U.S. Pharmacopeia and Thermoscientific Apps Lab Library of Analytical Applications, which contains over 700 methods of detailed e-workflow procedures, are good places to start. If no applicable method exists, study target analyte and sample properties such as polarity, isoelectric point, UV absorption coefficient, and sample matrix. This helps you make informed decisions about column chemistry, mobile phase, and detector type during method scouting, which is the next step. Three factors determine how well two analytes are separated, efficiency, N, analyte retention factor, K, and selectivity, alpha. Selectivity has the largest impact on peak resolution and is dictated by column chemistry and mobile phase composition. By scouting various column and mobile phase combinations, you can identify a promising starting point for your method. Examples include phenyl column selectivity for aromatic analytes and acidic mobile phases for weak acid analytes. Prior knowledge of analyte and sample properties can help narrow the number of columns and mobile phases down to a few promising candidates. Next is method optimization. Here, you'll fine-tune the method through iterative testing of various separation conditions to achieve the best possible separation based on predefined criteria, such as speed, resolution, or peak shape. Separation conditions include column temperature, mobile phase flow rate, gradient program, and others. This stage requires operators to run large numbers of samples and repeatedly make decisions based on each set of results, making method optimization laborious even for seasoned veterans. Next is robustness testing. This involves deliberate variation of separation conditions to determine the impact on separation quality. This helps you build methods that are unaffected by small fluctuations in operating conditions and is helpful for downstream method validation and method transfer. Finally, there's method validation. This is an industry-specific process for determining whether a method is fit for purpose based on guidelines from regulatory bodies, such as the International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use, ICH. As you can see, HPLC method development is a complex process. Thermoscientific Method Development HPLC and UHPLC systems offer tools to help including hardware for column and mobile phase switching and dedicated software for automated method development from scouting through robustness testing. Learn more at thermofisher.com slash HPLC method development.